This week, we have a very much new challenge. We have Marinic. Welcome back, fellow reefers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Sean, and this is where we take reefing one day at a time. As you can see, the tank survived the 43 hour power outage and is doing very well. But last week, we discovered the beginning of Marine Ick. There are two possibilities as to why this has happened. One, it could be that the power outage did in fact stress out the fish and therefore were susceptible to the outbreak. I feel as though it will always be in your system. Two, I should have quarantined the Coral Beauty Angel in the Royal Dotty Back that we recently acquired. We will discuss a few things today. What is ick? What can we do to prevent it? How to treat it? And what approach we are going to take to battle this and what has worked for us in the past. Before we dive into this, I have something for all of you reefers to think about. Correct me if I am wrong, and I completely understand that in the wild, there are plenty of wrasses and other means to take care of parasites. Look at these photos. What do you see on these powder blue tangs, which are very prone to marine ick? I'll tell you what I see. Schools of beautiful powder blue tangs in the wild without a speck of white spot, aka ick. Why is this? And how is it getting into our reef tanks? Are they healthy when they're collected? Then once they arrive to whatever warehouse they are housed before distribution across the world, are they being housed in aquariums that have ick? It makes sense to me. The fish would be stressed at this point and would be prone to be infected very easily. Then they are shipped to your local fish store and in turn infect their tanks finally coming to your home and infecting yours or mine. It's a theory and only a theory. However, it is a discussion worthy of any reef conversation. So what is it? In a nutshell, it is a very common fish disease caused by external parasites. Once your fish is infected, you will notice white spots which are cysts on the skin and fins of your fish. Once it starts to attach to the gills of your fish, this is the point where breathing can be very difficult for your fish and depending on how bad the case is, could be very fatal. Marinic has a life cycle which has five stages. We won't get into that in this video. There is just so much to cover. But to keep it short, Marinic will keep reproducing and Marinic reproduces in your substrate. So how can we battle this in our aquarium? The most popular method is to quarantine any new fish you bring home in a separate aquarium. Here is the issue with this. If you cycled your new aquarium, say for example with damsels or any other fish that many reefers use to cycle, how are you sure you did not introduce ick into the aquarium at that time? It's very possible and even though you did your part and quarantined your brand new fish, you may just be getting ready to place it into your display. That is housing what? All that ick. Here are some ways to treat marine ick. Dosing copper in your quarantine will help with marine ick. Do not place a copper treatment into your display tank by any means. Another form of prevention in quarantine is hyposalinity. This requires you to lower your salinity so very low that unless you know what you are doing, I would highly advise it against doing this. Now, take note that I mentioned all of this in quarantine. This is because you cannot use these methods inside your reef tank if you have corals or invertebrates. Another option to battle ick 
is a UV sterilizer, acting like a high performance bug zapper for your aquarium. These are costly and require additional plumbing. So how are we going to battle this right now in our reef tank? Well, it's a little too late at this point to quarantine because to be honest, I am not about to catch all of these fish with all the existing rock work to make my tank fallow. What we are going to do is what has worked for us in the past. We will be dosing Polyp Lab Medic as well as feeding New Life Spectrum food with Ixshield. There are plenty of mixed reviews on the Polyp Lab Medic. Some say it does not work and some say it works great. For us, it has always worked. Keep in mind that it will not eradicate marine ick. My opinion is, once you have it, you will always have it as long as your tank is running. The medic seems to more or less keep it at bay. Once your fish gets stressed again by adding, say, a new fish addition, or you have a parameter swing or an imbalance that it will, it will come back. I don't have a UV sterilizer, so that is not an option at this time. We will dose the medic for 20 days, twice a day. The instructions say you dose for 10 days, but we usually dose much longer. It might be a good option to start pre-dosing when you know you're going to be adding a new fish. We have never done that, but I do believe it would be worth a shot. If you are currently in a battle with Marinic, we wish you the best and hope this video helped you understand what marine ick is and how to take control of it. If you know of any other methods to combat marine ick, please leave it in the comments. It would help us as well as other reefers out there. So until then, we'll see you on the next one.